Good day to all you out there. I'm back with the very last final 100 maps in the 1000 Crimson Temple maps, 901 to 1000. It's been a long journey, and it's coming to a close. Kind of excited about it, ready to come out with that juicy, all-encompassing video, uh, prov providing my thoughts on how it all went. Obviously, it's going to be very positive. Uh, I, I think the results are actually pretty well anticipated. There's been no crazy outlying information that I didn't expect, uh, but it's always nice to get, you know, uh, some some good test data. <laughs> a thousand maps is a pretty decent test, although for a card as rare as the Apothecary, maybe not. <laughs> we just have to add mine in with everyone else's. So, just like every time before. I have all of the compasses in here. Fortunately, was still able to buy them at the market uh, with only one or two weeks left. I guess it's about two weeks, uh, a week and a half, I guess, until the league is over. Uh, or maybe actually, well, I guess technically it's like one full week. Yeah, one, one week, nine days, I guess. Just did the math in my head. <laughs> nine days left in the league. And I got a bunch of sentinels here, still working on sentinel rewards. Got all the compasses, got all the scarabs, got the exalts and chaos orbs to cover the cost of the compasses. It seems that exalted orbs bounce back up in price a little bit. I mean, they went all the way down to like 131 or something. Now they're 137. Oh, look, I have 2,000 exalt exalts now. Remember when I started the stream last for the last set, I only had like 1,000 exalts? Yeah, well, that's because I made 1,000 exalts in the last... Uh, session and kind of sold both uh, awaken enlightened supports sold both house of mirrors sold a couple other things and voila uh, oh yeah and I also didn't reinvest in additional gems to level because I don't really see any reason left to we're just gonna finish out these awaken multi strikes which will level up to five very quickly I got uh, another set of six awaken enhanced supports got uh, four more enhanced supports and enlightened support here. These will all level up. We should end up with a total of 15 gems fully leveled by the end of this one. And got a little treat for you guys here. I've been holding back the apothecary cards and decided to just go ahead and um, purchase the mage blood. I think I'll, as long as I get at least one apothecary card. This time I'll have two mage bloods and we'll, we'll go for one final last hurrah. Super, super high stakes uh, <laughs> Temple Chronicles where I'll double corrupt. My plan is to double corrupt two Mage Bloods and two Awaken Enlightened Supports. Will be basically, if I'm not mistaken, that would be the two highest stakes items you can possibly double corrupt in each. <laughs> Uh, whether it's uh, the Lens or the Locus of Chamber. So look forward to that at the end. That'll be in the gambling portion of the video. We got an empty dump tab otherwise and we're ripping, raring, ready to go. One last snapshot to verify that it is indeed, I think I have it right here, 35.7 exalt. There it is. I'll be timing the runs. I'm anticipating 6.75 hours, 6 hours and 45 minutes. Probably is what it's gonna take. My mana is gone. So let's get this party started. My goal, uh, I guess, my goal this time is to drop four apothecaries in a hundred maps. What do you think? You think it'll happen? I'm not <laughs> think it can happen. It certainly can happen. I uh, already got a ton of maps ready to go here. And we're off! Timer going. Here we go! To map number 901! Oh my goodness. Not exactly the way I wanted to start that. Warming up here. It's warming up. Let's see, because I died, I kind of need... Well, killing the Harbinger is actually nice. 
Did I even spawn the influence yet? Oh yeah, I did because I that's right up. I should click the uh, the altar is what killed me. Trying to click that altar. So I'm going to kill some harbingers here to try and delay the oh, archaeology there. Delay the mirror from moving before I get back there. Although I don't really need to go back to the very beginning. Fine. Oh, we got some great altars already to start with. More altars, my goodness. So many divination cards should be dropping from this map. I did about as well as I could have there, given the situation. Death makes it hard. You know, surprisingly little is actually dropping. I, I have like 9% chance for minions to drop a divination card. You know? I don't see any divination cards dropping. I also have duplicated divination cards going on right now. Kind of felt like uh, this map was just kind of dry. Even the sentinels didn't yield not like a really good amount. I did get that archaeology sentinel though. Oh, okay, there there is some of the divination cards. Yep, yep. Okay, I mean, it could have been worse, but yeah, not that great. That's what everybody's doing. But the real interesting thing is what forbidden jewels do you use? And I would use something that nobody's using, and that's, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it's, oh my god, it's a good base. And enlightened. Okay, our first card. A little late, you know, something like 15 maps in. First card, 15 maps in of any card. Actually. So, kind of a slow start here, but yeah. Tinker's Table, oh my. Magister's Dagger. Ugh. And the weak sauce. Oh, really wanted me to kill my uh, delirium there. there. Second round? I'll have to do. Well, that's good. That's fun. That might be a screenshot there. <laughs> that's a lot of stuff on the map. Oh, this looks nice. The light Twice? <laughs> Twice. In the same same. Oh. oh my god. Crazy drops. It would seem that the divination card like coming out on the sentinels. Probably because my sentinel's giving me quantity if I remember correctly. No, not this one. <laughs> Never mind. 
Which sentinels do you pick up? I pick up magic sentinels that show up on my loot filter from wearing Cloak of Tom, so that's set up with a specific loot filter. You know, things like currency rewards, uh, tier 1 additional monsters, percent monsters, flat additional monsters, uh, currency reward, divination rewards, uh, expedition rewards, sentinel rewards, harbinger rewards, maybe a few others. Then I pick up all rare high base sentinels, unidentified. So obsidian base, all obsidian base sentinels those up as well and because I'm running exclu ex exclusively sentinel reward sentinels meaning every single sentinel that I run has sentinel rewards as part of its uh, mod pool I get a whole lot of not only recombinator recombinators I get a lot of power cores and I get a lot of sentinels to drop which in turn feed into more potentially high value sentinels um, and I found that once I kind of got the ball rolling with that strategy, I was really able to self-sustain some pretty phenomenal sentinels. Uh, I did ultimately cave and buy, I began purchasing, um, like cryptic pandemonium sentinel bases that would be like garbage rolls that nobody cared about and they would still sell for like 20, 30, 40 chaos, uh, because it has like the highest number of monsters impacted. So it, I am picking up quite a few, but the, you know it's smart loot. It's fairly smart loot. So it, it, the strategy is kind of twofold: high rare obsidian bases, and then any type of base that rolls magic is all is automatically identified. And of course, you know there are going to be times when I find. Like this, for example. Okay. Magic, Obsidian, Pandemonium, Sentinel, Mystery, 2.5% chance to empower Sentinel Reels. So I'll slam that into like a Cryptic Pandemonium base. Maybe has some rare rolls and, you know, it might hit. It might not, but I get a lot of chances, <laughs> more or less. He's a rebel. Back. Almost lost the mirror. I was hugging the door, waiting for it to come to me. Oh my goodness, that looks not too bad. A little late on that strong box. Oh. Stop teleporting. I'm not up some quantity. Get some more quantity via shrine. Don't you do it. I went down to the literal zero second. Duplication, divination card, but I can't get to it. I need to hit it before I hit that. Oh, okay, there we go. You know, just in case. Uh, something happened there. Sentinel of Mystery! percent chance to duplicate divination cards I failed failed stupid seven years bad luck not duped. that's so sad because last map I had 51 percent chance I couldn't drop last map hmm oh man hydroscale gauntlets too whoa I'm in the big leagues now and cold iron point whoa 
Whoa, this map probably has like half of the uniques value that I get in the whole hundred maps. With those two items. I'm not even kidding. Stalker mystery again. Oh my god, so beautiful. Tier 1, 3.5% chance. Is it's like three exalts in value. Crazy. And a re-up on the movement speed shrine. Flying for days. Oh my god. Whoa. Double enlightened. God, man. It could have been double apothecary. Could have been... The Enlightens are pissed that I only found two last 100 map sessions. I already got like, what, four or five now in 30 maps. <laughs> I don't know how I only found two of those. That was such a bizarre RNG there. Are there more than one teleport? Oh man, not conquer. Hit it. That looks like a terrible pandemonium spot, although I actually have kind of a weak pandemonium sentinel right now. Not a big one. The Scout. Okay. Been a long time since I've seen that card. I have seen... I don't think that's the first one of those to drop. But I believe that uh, and I'm pretty obvious that that... Okay, never mind. I was going to say that came from Divination card reward. So that must have been a, a purely random reward from this Sentinel. There's no... The, that Pandemonium Sentinel I just used to get that Scout card did not have... Did not designate Divination card reward, so it must have been a super rare situation where... It, Dropped, uh, it just happened to empower into a <laughs> divination card reward randomly. Uh, and apparently, before I used it, I missed it. I ran too fast, ran beyond a sentinel. I mean, uh, not a sentinel, an altar that had 28% chance to duplicate divination card drops. It could have duplicated that scout. Alas, we'll never know. Sure makes it fun, though. I'm looking forward to uh, next league with the altars. I really, really hope they don't change the sentinel altars. I don't think they're going to because people don't perceive the... Or rather, the divination altars to be super overpowered. I do. I personally do. But only if you're, like, you know, magic finding divination card farming. It's not like, for example, um, the scarab altars from last league. What they might do is they might dilute the pool further by including additional types of rewards. I don't know what they would include, but... Let's see. It's kind of funny, right? Corrupting my for, for no reason. I basically just want to do what is essentially the most expensive double corruption chambers you can possibly do, which is double corrupting mage blood and uh, awaken enlightened supports in the same temple chronicle. <laughs> so, yeah, It'd be pretty wild. Double enlightened from the. Well, this happened actually a couple hundred maps ago. I got out of a diviner strong box. It just dropped randomly, you know. And I keep seeing that card on stacked decks as well. I, I've gotten so many of the- now I'm not counting the stacked deck drops towards a primary pool of information by the way, uh, but I am counting Divine or Strongbox drops in there, so in fact I'm counting all high value uh, divination cards that drop from any source uh, in the map uh, on account of there being, you know, a whole bunch of new mechanics that drop uh, divination cards globally as well as the old mechanic diviner strong boxes but we also have uh, eldritch altars now this league accounting for a whole bunch of extra divination card drop 
But yeah, so that's another... So I think that's... A grand total of four enlightened cards that have dropped from Diviner's strong boxes uh, in this thousand map test. Spawns yeah. here. Not fun. Although, oh my god, another enlightened from a Pandemonium Sentinel hit again. This one have quantity? Nope. <laughs> Oh, wow. Good God. That's a screenshot. That's definitely the screenshot now. <laughs> that is... That is wild. Enlightened double exalted orb from the strong box. Oh. I haven't had a screenshot with a double enlightened in a while too, so I mean a double exalted. I'm so used to saying double enlightened because that's what keeps dropping. That would have actually been so disgusting if it was like a double enlightened right next to a double exalted orb. Or if they all came out of the same strong box. It could theoretically happen. Oh well that was pretty cool. Yeah. Colorful screen. What another exalted orb? Whoa! You know, I think this is the only map in a thousand maps where I actually got three exalted orbs in one map. I'm pretty sure this is the only one. So, uh, there's a cool little first, I guess. not done with this map either yet. 60x isn't bad. I mean, I can farm 60x pretty quickly doing Legion and Cemetery. I should be able to genuinely make like 10x an hour like immediately, the moment I start doing that farm legitimately. So I'll need enough of my Alice. One thing I'm going to do differently that I didn't do last time is I'm not going to worry about my Atlas completion. I just need, I just want enough of it completed to like to do the Legion farming, and because uh, I, I don't think Legion farming really depends on having a lot. Obviously, like Brothers Stash and Magic finding and stuff, you really do want the vast majority of your Atlas open. I think I'll just kind of make the sacrifice and lean harder into the legion farming and then kind of deal with the fact that, for example, I probably won't be able to run uh, increased effective modifiers on non-unique maps. Although I might. I might complete my uh, atlas enough to do it. It's not that hard. I will definitely... I'm definitely going to skip, like, all bossing, though. Seven years bad luck is showing itself again. So, this is really kind of crazy. I keep getting... This is actually the... Actually, the uh, the way this is working is on this 100 map session, I keep seeing a double enlightened drop followed by a 7 years bad luck shortly thereafter. And then a double, double enlightened, 7 years bad luck, double enlightened, 7 years bad luck. It's actually happened 3 times in a row now. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Although one of those double enlightens was actually two separate drops that came from the same Pandemonium Sentinel. <clears throat> so it was like a double drop. Really crazy. So not doing too bad on just the sheer number of cards I've seen. We'll still, we'll still be 450 maps in. Something like around map 47 or maybe something like that. And we've already seen three, seven years, six, or, or rather seven enlightened. So a ton of enlightened cards actually. Oh my god. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> my reward for n somehow not dying there was uh, the seven years bad luck. All right. Down with that. Actually, let's uh, kill this harbinger and freeze that mirror. <laughs> that came 
so close to dying there. Now I echo shrine so I can lag a little more. I wasn't already lagging enough. So far in the back. Ugh. I had to pull some strings to get that. Seven years bad luck again. That card is popping right now. Well, we're well over halfway through here. I think I'm about two thirds of the way through here. And there's the duplication altar. Still hoping for one apothecary. One, give me one. And not on the 1,000th map. Don't need that. I don't need to ride that roller coaster again. It reminds me of the phrase, um, however good you think you are at something, there's always some Asian that is better at it than you. But when it came to like pool and billiards, it was more like, no matter how good you think you are at pool, there's always some middle-aged beer gutted man who's better at it than you somewhere in the town. Be like the most, the least inconspicuous, the, the most inconspicuous looking dude will be like semi pro at billiards. And so it's like, well, great. I guess I can't, uh, can't be the guy on top. Oh my goodness. We got it, but not the big drop. We got double seven years bad luck from the. Uh, the altar that spawned early on the map is, I think I had like 28% chance to happen. And it legit duplicated right there in my face. I would have really made my day if it had been the you know what card. But no, I'm still waiting for the first apothecary. I, I really just want to be able to find one. So I can walk away knowing I got 15 apothecary cards in a thousand maps. You guys think we're gonna see one apothecary in 40 maps? Or in 100 maps, rather. Because I haven't seen one yet in this 100 map session. I, I don't do endless heist. I, <clears throat> I did the heisting thing once. I did not do it endless. I, d I did the non -endless, endless version, so I did it like. I only leveled up like, I don't know, eight levels doing it. So honestly, I, 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 only, I ran like, I only ran like a dozen contracts or something. My mana is gone. It was fine, but I mean, if, if you're going to go through the trouble of going down there and doing stuff, you might as well take it kind of seriously. You, can, you know, if you're going to unlock the, the members. Kind of feels bad to just barely unlock everything and then be done forever. I'm not up to that just yet. So that moment on, I kind of looked at it. I was like, well, you know, either either I will actually do endless heist, take it seriously, or I'm just not going to do it. I don't think I really need to do it because I can still do the chaos recipe pretty easily uh, without it early on. Shit, winged reliquary scarab. What? Winged harp? 
I'll have to watch the VOD. Did that say, like... It, maybe it says guaranteed one winged scarab or something. And I never knew that. I've always wondered how those dropped winged scarabs... Uh, maybe that's what it is. I'm actually planning to make my Tornado Shot Solthurst Leak Start Deadeye Leak Start build also a low life build. Maybe. I, I, I'm gonna test some things out. Even without being able to get Pain Attunement or whatever. Oh my god. That's so lame that these drop this map. If this had dropped one map ago, I would have just found a double 8 mod corrupted conquer influence map. Cemetery map, but now I don't have it. It's so bad. What? Oh my god, I actually thought that said the apothecary. I, I thought that actually said the apothecary. Uh, man. <laughs> I really did think that said it. I don't know why I thought it said that. Another one of that card. And another Exalted Orb. That's what I'm dropping a lot of. I was dropping a ton of Enlightenment though, so... Yeah, I'm gonna practice the League Start. I may or may not practice it as much as last time because I may or may not have the time. That's yesterday, thanks. That was a big, a incredible session. I am expecting is a fun run. Well, sure, it's gonna be fun. They're all fun. You know, it's actually pretty crazy that I've done a thousand of these maps in a. I mean, I, I'm happy that this is coming to a close, obviously, but it's not like I'm, I'm at a point where I'm just, like, dreading logging on. Just, oh my god. If I have to run one more of these maps. Like, I don't feel that way at all. Those drops. Huh. Just ring around the rosy here. Dictators harvest your bow and a seven years. Bad luck. Okay. Can't stop getting that card. It says divination card duplicated, but I'm too afraid to click it because I'm gonna die. If I try. 22% chance! The dupli apothecary, that would be swell if I managed to do that. Vulnerability shrine or something? Wow, even this room could have, would have worked for a pan on him sending like shit. Oh man, 52% chance to duplicate this cards right now. Oh my god, 77% chance to duplicate divination card. This is actually record. This is, I've never I've never had this high of a chance in the map. Especially with this much of the map left. I still have most uh, strong boxes to open. So I'm actually excited. 77% chance. If I get one more Alton, <laughs> that's guaranteed duplicate. Oh, come on. Give me a, give me an apothecary right now. This is so amazing. Come on. Uh, I'm gonna pick 
take this map seriously. Wish I could kill, it, kill literally everything in here. Under the deli now. Dude, this is 77%. Get no rare this is? It's like... It took me 970 maps or something to, to see this high of a percentage. Odds on this. Damn it. Alright. A couple strong boxes left right here. Generic strong box. Don't fail me now. Nothing. God, I cleared everything. Everything. Oh my god. Second. What? Oh, Aegis. Okay. Okay, I haven't seen one of those in a while. So we got something like 40% chance to duplicate now. Right now. That's not bad. Mastery being nerfed. And power support down there. As far as the end game, I don't know. Probably that, you know, that uh, omniscience helmet everybody uses. <gasps> Honestly, the only thing running through my head is the fact that, like, for the past two maps, I've had insane duplication chances, and of course I drop it when I had no chance to duplicate it. <laughs> Okay. Got it. We got... I'm, I'm not complaining. Although maybe I should be complaining because when I complain, I get drops. So I'm, I'm complaining that I'm not complaining that... No, no, no. My brain exploded. I couldn't finish that sentence. Yo, that might be a record for this channel. So I should once again explain what's going on here. We're on something like map number 978, something like that, for a thousand Crimson Temple maps. Just got my 15th Apothecary drop in the set. My first one in the, in the 100 map set. Mmm. What do you do here? What do you do? Which one? Which one do you click? I'm going for. I'm going. I'm going big. It's kind of early in the map. I think it's probably smarter to click the random elimination card one. But oh well. Oh going big. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm glad I clicked it. It, it. Seven years bad luck, it did not duplicate, but I certainly gave it a chance. I had an honest chance of duplicating. <laughs> That's wild. Of course, I might I might have, like, not dropped the House of Mirrors, too. But, oh well. Well, my friends, we did it. 1,000 Crimson Temple maps is now done. Maps 901 to 1,000. Just completed, and the dump tabs are here. I did manage to get one Apothecary, thankfully. And let me bring you down to the usual picture. I got some uniques this time. Not terrible. Our Kali's Fang and, uh, and Aegis Aurora. Okay. So that's nice. Let's see what kind of divination cards I found. One apothecary. Ten seven years bad luck. Whoa. Never seen that many before. 
Eight enlightens. <laughs> That's actually a pretty high number of enlightens, but oh my god, 10, 7 years, bad luck. That's nutty. And how many dragon hearts? Zero. Zero dragon hearts. Wah, wah, wah. Oh my god. 421 new combinators. <laughs> I actually forgot a Pandemonium Sentinel a couple times, too. Uh, seems like more chaos than normal. 18 exalts, pretty high. Uh, yeah. Wow. Pretty good. Pretty good numbers there. So you can kind of take a look here, and if you want to freeze the frame, you want to check, juxtapose it with your own results, feel free. That's everything. Everything being included that, of course, does not include all of the Apex Sentinels, for which there are many, as well as uh, Blueprints, for which there are a few. Includes a lot of stuff, though. Most of it counting. Let's check out the total amount here. So, 252. I'll just take another snapshot to guarantee it. 252.64 exalts. And then we're going to have to add in some stuff, of course, like always. I was actually supposed to pull this in down before. Uh, I already, I just have them sitting here in a random tab, and you can see there are 12. Awaken exceptional support gems, each uh, valued at 1x apiece, and then 3 Awaken multi-strike supports, I value these at 2x apiece, so that's 15, uh, that's 18 exalts total, right there, and then I'll get to this mage blood here in a second, and then we also have a lot of recombinators, combinator bases, So we're now at 270. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19. 19. Now, not all of these are selling at 1x or above, but some of them sell for a little bit less. Some of them sell for a lot more. What was it? 19? <laughs> yeah, 19. Okay. 289 is it gross minus the startup cost 35.7 and you know what gotta be honest with you guys I, I can't I uh, I relax a little bit more on this stream and definitely chatted a bit more uh, did a monstrous treasure map at the end because I had one monstrous treasure uh, remaining, so I decided to do one of those. A couple of exalts dropped from it, nothing crazy. And so we're going to divide it by seven. So it, it took around, counting all of that extra time, it took around seven hours uh, to do all of this. So that puts me around 36.27 X per hour. Not, not terrible, not too bad. Exalts. Sitting at uh, 139. So exalts also went up a little bit. So that's kind of deflating the currency value that I have. Oh yeah, you can see I have 2,000 exalts now. I only had 1,000 last time. Remember how I made like 1,000 exalts on maps 801 to 900? <laughs> well, there it is. Uh, yeah. So there are, now you have the results. And, and of course, we got the gambling portion to do. Now for the gambling portion, this time I'm going to do something a little bit different. Actually, I'm going to just do two Temple Chronicles, only two. And we're going to gamble two Mage Bloods and two Awakened Enlightened Support. So how about that? How about the two most expensive items in the game for their respective Double Corruption Chambers? Uh, we'll go ahead and do that uh, because I don't really care about uh, the uh, enhances and double corrupting those anymore. The league's over at this point. I honestly don't even care about the results of uh, what happens to these items here. But just for fun, we're gonna we're gonna see. I already got this one rolled up nicely. I will need 
to roll this other one up, don't I? I think I'll be fairly picky here. Let's see. I'll try to get a... See if I can get uh, a four with a perfect dex roll. What is perfect? 60? Something close to that. Well, I will uh, take a few minutes to roll this up to size, and then you guys can see me in a moment on the gambling side. Of course, you still got to do the stack decks as well. Stay tuned for that. So, here it is. My final gamble of the season. Or the league, or whatever you call it. Just just a couple. Just a couple Ke Temple Chronicles. No big deal, right? Uh, let's see. We got here two Awakened Enlightened Supports and two Mage Bloods. One, which evidently divined to literal perfection, which is interesting. So let's go see what happens here at this little end of the league. I think this is kind of an interesting uh, gamble because, as far as I know, it is the, t the two most expensive items you can possibly double corrupt in their respective double corruption chambers. So, I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. So let's, uh, let let's see what happens here. Instead of selling some of the Apothecary cards that I had when I was doing the 1000 Temp Crimson Temple runs, I decided to keep some of the some of them back and collect them for Mage Blood Double Corruptions here at the end. Looks like we're starting with Mage Blood number one. So here it is, folks. This is a very well rolled Mage Blood. And we're gonna brick it here in three, two, one. Pride. Does anybody care about that? I got movement speed during flask effects pretty good. Hey, I mean, just getting a successful double corruption on either of these is a freaking miracle. So, uh, not only did it survive, it's looking all right. I, I don't think that's probably a great result, but uh, not bad. At least not bad. Next on the list, we have my favorite. Now, you'll be surprised to hear that in the last eight... Awaken and Lighten Support, I've gone up on five of them. <laughs> five out of eight up on the last eight. So I am due for some absolutely atrocious RNG. But let's see if I can just kind of keep keep it going here with a plus five Awaken and Lighten Support in three, two, one. No. Okay. It stayed the same. No luck there. Totally don't deserve <laughs> to hit go up on either of those anyway. Uh, let's do our second Chronicle. Oh, that's right. Good point. Uh, movement speed during flask effect is permanent on the mage blood. For some reason, I didn't think about that. Uh, I've never actually used a mage blood before, and any build of mine is not really my cup of tea. I am more about the zoom, zoom, juice up the maps, which it could be done on mage blood, obviously. But as long as headhunter is going to be as powerful as it is, I will just keep using that. This time, we're going to do our Awakened Enlightened Support first. Let's see if we can get an up on this one. Three, two, one. Ooh. Ah! Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, my God. Six out of ten. Six out of ten up on this. And just so you guys know, these cost me about 70 exalts. If it bricks, it's, it's worth about 20 exalts. If it, if it goes up, it's worth... An excess of 300 exalts. Like, My probably four. I could probably sell for 400 exalts right now. Um, but, you know, it's the last week of the league, so. <laughs> okay. uh, anyway, already had monumental, a fantastic result. Um, essentially, an awakened, enlightened support level 5 is worth a mage blood. <laughs> That's basically what it is. Uh, let's go. We got the last one. I didn't expect the results to be good. I mean, this can just completely poof out of oblivion and it would still be great results. So let's see what the last one hits. We're going to hit it here in 3, 2, 1 on a perfect mage blood for a perfect double corruption. <laughs> what is that? Dude. <laughs> oh, geez. 
Oh my god. Go. To you, Mr. Mageblood. What's that worth on standard? <laughs> oh my god, wow. My league start is going to be absolute dog crap because all of my RNG is completely expired right now. It's, it's just expired. I got nothing left and I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> but the results of this gambling portion are one Awakened Enlightened Support stayed the same, now worth about 20x. One Awakened Enlightened Support gone up to five, now worth probably about... 300 to 400x somewhere in there and then a nice double corruption with a perfect pride roll and mid-tier movement speed roll and then an absolute monstrosity crit chance while on flask i mean crit chance during flask well crit chance 100 percent of the time it's just 38 percent global crit chance which is you know decent uh, not the best but decent and then of course the <laughs> double percent items of course it's fantastic with any omniscience build so uh my god what is that worth I, I i don't know i don't know the mage blood market um obviously that's got to be worth like m more than a mirror like multiple mirrors i would say right yeah actually that's right i did i did just successfully double corrupt two mage bloods in a row how the hell never had luck like that on anything I get lucky with the the gem double corruption some other not 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 the items usually. Well, there you have it. That's it. Uh, the end. <laughs> That's the. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. This is the very very end of the gambling portion for the thousand Crimson Temple map. Crazy enough, last hundred map session did result in. A house of mirrors that actually made it so I think I'm gonna make money on all the stacked decks like quite a bit of money you know if, if you drop a single house of mirrors in uh, a couple thousand stacked decks you probably making some serious currency My mana is gone. and yeah actually I, 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 it's hard to think I, I probably probably like a total of 2,500 stacked decks, maybe, I've opened for this 1,000 Crimson Temple set. And, you know, even just one House of Mirrors, I think, is worth more than 2,500 stacked decks. Obviously, I dropped a few other things that were not bad, but I... Aside from the House of Mirrors, I think the most valuable thing I dropped was a Scout card. Maybe. Oh. Uh, Corrupted Cortex, yeah. That's not actually worth a whole lot. Nothing too crazy. Really? 100 chaos. This is 70 chaos. Ah! Another red star, but also an item not worth very much. 45 chaos. Three red stars, though. Pretty lucky for 201 stack decks. So I guess, um. I'm not up to that yeah, I, I mean, I guess, I guess I came out ahead, but not honestly, not by much. Not by much, so... Yeah, there it is. Final results. Nice seeing uh, a, a few decent cards drop out of that. <coughs> well, that is all. The end. But not the end, because I gotta make the final... Massive video that uh, s presents a summary of my thoughts. And all that jazz, you know, the results, my thoughts, and everything will be in the final video. And that'll be coming out in, I don't know, a few days. Definitely gonna, going to require a little bit of work <laughs> um, editing that up together. But um, I have plenty of time to do it, so it'll be coming out soon. 
for anyone who ever tuned in for this these runs and twitch absolutely appreciate you coming in um, it looks like my channel grew quite a bit uh, all the way up to 48 viewers right now I'm pretty sure when I started these thousand runs I was only averaging around 10 viewers at a given time 10 or maybe 20 the most so it was a good time I enjoyed it and I'm, I'm glad to be done with it as well <laughs> We'll kind of move on and do, do some different things. we got a league start coming out pretty soon. i got a build guide I have to make for a tornado shot Deadeye with Soul Thirst uh, that I will also be league starting uh, right along with anyone who would like to take me up on that venture. But for now, for now, i got to hang out with my crew. We're celebrating. 1,000 Crimson Temple maps done, and I'm going to hang out with the chat for a while. Usually I just kind of turn turn off the computer, but you can see it's still early in the evening here. It's 10.37 uh, p.m. local time. I think it's a good time to hang out with and uh, chat for a while. But as far as YouTube, I'm going to say goodbye to you all. Stay tuned for the next video.